Welcome back, you beautiful people. I'm Gary. I'm Adam. And this is our journey around the world in 80 beers. Um, today, you're actually joining us on a bit of a surprise one. Um, a bit of an exclusively interesting episode. Um, we're actually at the same brewery, but we're visiting to have a look at not one, but two two beers from this place um, we thought it was really important to have a look at two beers from this one one they're a very sustainable organization because they use old bread and we thought well beer is made from yeast yeast makes bread let's have a look and see if we can actually have a taste to see what these look like um so it's toast brewing um they're based in um well they're actually brewed by one of our previous um experiences which is the curious brewery over in ashford in kent um company's based in London, I believe, um, and we've got two. So we've got the New Dawn, which is the IPA. We've been doing a few IPAs recently, so we thought we'd give that one a go. And we've also got Grassroots Pale Ale. Um, don't know what these are going to be like. Um, we're hoping for good things from these ones. Anything that's got a bit of sustainability with it, helping out planet Earth, is probably a good thing. Um, so... Let's give it a go. We might as well crack straight in, shall we? Shall we start with the new dawn? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a session IPA. This one's a 330ml can. It's 4.3% ABV. So it's actually not a hugely high alcohol content, which is not a bad thing. No, um, not. It says that bread shouldn't be wasted. So let's get these in the glasses. We have got quite a pale bit. I'm going little because we're trying to. It's lively. It's very lively. <laughs> it's a lively beer. Um, I presume that they're going to be using the yeast from the bread, or they're going to be adding additional yeast to it. I don't actually know. Um, nice. Definitely a hazy beer. doesn't it necessarily is, yeah. say it's a hazy beer on that one, but definitely hazy beer. Um, cheers. Cool. Let's have cheers. a smell. Ooh. Smell on that one's interesting. Sorry, I went straight in for the taste. That's fine. Not a surprise. <laughs> you want to be honest, drink, drink as you drink, drink as you drink, smell as you smell. I nice, interesting. It is interesting. I don't know what it is, I've but tasted it's interesting it already. So, go on then. It's definitely tangy. Oh, it is a tangy one. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. But I like it. Citrus and floral. Is that what you're going for? That's what it says. That's what it says. <laughs> okay. I've gone for nice tangy zest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. Adam. It's got a nice hot, hot hop smell to it. It's, it's, really it's, it's an interesting one. Um, American hops. It's not your oh. strong tropical hops that I would necessarily associate that one with. But just say that went down well. I'll just play catch up for a minute, shall I? Yeah, sorry, mate. Well, you, you have a chat while I finish. Well, he's very slow, as you can tell. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. It's definitely tangy, though, isn't it? It's got a bit it's of a dryness bit, to yeah. it. A bitterness afterwards. Um, it's not an unpleasant drinking beer, is it? No, it says it's, not. It says it's a session IPA, and that's exactly what it is. You can have a few of them. Well, in the could, sun, you could, could definitely get on the session with it, couldn't in you? In the winter, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nice, nice, nice little can as well, isn't which it? is an interesting one actually. Because if that's brewed by the curious brewery that we had that lager from, mm -hmm. it's surprising that we had such a mixed feeling about that that lager. Where this one, we've actually both gone, yeah, it's a nice beer, nice beer. Um, should never write anything off, though, mate. No, what do you reckon if you're going to rate that one? Do you know what I'm going to go? Solid 7.5. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a fair, okay. a fair shout. Should we give the order? There is, there is a fruity tang to it. Definitely a fruity tang. Yeah, there it. is. And that's what makes it... Hmm. Nice. Nice. Nice, yeah. Let's give this a uh, grassroots... Here, it'll go then, shall yeah, we? Yeah. 4.1 ABV, this one. Another 330ml can. Yeah. This one is a pale ale. <laughs> Just point this out, yeah. Look, yeah. The barcode is in the shape of a bread. 
Toast. To toast, yeah. <laughs> so shall we shall, shall we toast to this? It's another lively one. <laughs> it's, it's lively, all right. Oh, it's frothing out the can. Exactly, exactly. It's lively. So these have got a bit of a chill on it. So again, another bit of a haze to it. What have I done? <laughs> He's having a flake. He's having a flake. <laughs> I've had a flake, definitely. <laughs> but I'll give it a go. Cool, that's a completely different smell. Well, I can't even smell anything that much froth in it. That's completely different. Oh, it says grassroots, so you can definitely smell. Oh, a summer, summer, summer fields. Is that is that the grassy smell that they're going for? I'm trying. Oh, I don't know. That's a weird one. It's a nice one. It's a different one. I can get a bit of passion fruit in that. No, can you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very, very, very interesting smell. Yeah, it's either, it's do you know it's, it's either passion fruit or a bit of pineapple I can get. Get a smell of something there. New World Hops. New World Hops, this one. I tell you what, I should just give it a go. So these are going to be coming from sort of New Zealand area, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's have a sniff and a smell. And a taste. That's good. It's light, isn't it? It's light. Refreshing. <laughs> Tasty. Frothy in my case. It is really, really good. You can drink a few of them easy. A bit lively, not you? Are you enjoying that? Yeah, <laughs> I just think it's a bit lively. <laughs> I, think, I think you definitely get yeah. some tasting notes after a minute on that one. No, it's nice. I like it. I like it. Um, both of those. I think I prefer... I think I prefer the IPA, if I'm honest. I like that tanginess. I think the grassiness of that one. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. We really the, need the to go. The new dawn IPA is the winner. Yeah, we really need to go and know what we're talking about, don't we? Yeah. I like them both. I like them both. Yeah. I, I think, based on based on what these guys are doing, the way that they're doing it, I think it's a, a win. In my yeah, book. it's they're both decent, aren't they? I mean, they both deserve a you know a plus point for the fact that it's a sustainable company. They're using what would essentially go in the bin, which is always nice. Um, yeah, well done to them guys. Um, so that's Toast Brewing, really, really good. We'll toast to them. Then. Yeah, absolutely. So if you like anything, give us a comment, give us a subscribe. If you would like to uh, see us do anything specifically, let us know. Um, we are hopefully going to be heading out into the big wide world shortly. Um, well, I think we're going to be heading into Europe first. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like we Where should we be start? maybe hitting a couple of the stronger Belgian beers, uh, maybe having a bit of a play around with some German lagers. Pilsners, that'd be really, really interesting. And do you know what? If anyone wants a shout out in the videos, oh, feel free. Drop us a comment. We're more than happy to give you a like or a shout out or whatever, you know. Gary was a, a DJ on a radio, local radio station in his previous <laughs> life. <laughs> we were, awesome. yeah, but you know what? It's, it's all about helping each other. Absolutely. Sharing content, is. having fun. Yes. Two best mates and brothers. Yeah, yeah. I see as a brother. Just enjoying ourselves, you know what I mean? But if we can help anyone else along the way, I think that's a plus as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, so we're tossed to this. It's a great, great beer. A couple of great beers. Um, join us on the journey. I'm oh, sorry, the grassroots pale ale. We didn't rate it. We didn't rate it. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna go lower than the session. I'm here just, just for what they're doing. I'd go the same. I'd yeah, the same. yeah. See, I would have went seven on that, but let, let's let's go the same because yeah. what they're doing is very good there. They're onto something special, aren't they? Absolutely, definitely. Fair place, yeah. So, nice little visit. Um, we spent a bit of time in the southeast. I think we're going to head up um, into the north, maybe, for a couple of trips around there as well. Where I'm from, then. Absolutely. Do we get to go home? Do we get to go to Newcastle? Watch out. We might be doing a, a home counties, not as in the home counties, but the counties where we're from. Local beers. That's special. Right. Cheers, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.